Okay. Okay. And I gotta turn down the volume on this bad boy so I can watch. Because I don't know if I can see. Yeah, I don't know if I can see comments on here either. But we'll find out. Let us know if you're there, guys. It's, you know, technology. It's great yeah. when it works, but. When it doesn't, you want to destroy the world with it. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Oh, Elle's here. Brittany's here. I don't think it's on my channel. I think it's it's on on yours, but it's so that's okay. I can always okay. download it and save it, and then we can upload it to yours. Okay. I think that's what Kasai and I did before. If it's not on yours, yeah, I don't see mine, so I won't. I won't be able. I would need to log into yours, so that way, not log into yours, but go to your. Brittany, can you see if it's on her channel? If not, we'll just save it after. There we go. Third time's a charm. So weird. That's how it works sometimes. What can we do? Okay, now I have to try and figure out how to get my camera off so you guys can see because I was not prepared for this little itty bitty window. I know it's like not, it's not a very large window, but it won't let you do the other way either. I know it's, it gets really weird, but we could just do like just something. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Like, it's just hard with mine because I have the two, like, tier tables, so then you can't, like, you can only see, like, one or the other. Mm. Going for a bumpy ride. Yeah, my tables, I, at first, I really loved how they were positioned because they're, like, like, remember in pre-K that you would have one table here, one across, and then one yeah. on each side? That's how it's set up, and I was like, I, I'm... I remember this. I feel this. And yeah. now I remember why I hated it when I was <laughs> Because the camera positions get really weird. Am I upside down? No. Just no. Okay. I see a pumpkin face. A whole bunch of trash on my floor. At least I vacuumed a little. I give you kudos. kudos, kudos, kudos. I filmed until four in the morning, so... Yeah, Jiminy Cricket. That I, I had a, I had a headache last night. So or yesterday afternoon when I was gonna film. So then I took a nap and then I woke up and it was like five thirty, and I was like, oh boy. Yay! All right. Okay. All right. I think I got a good right. camera. Just ignore my belly. I see your prep work. Do you want to walk them through your prep work? Okay. So I did an embroidered jack-o'-lantern on my front panel. And this mm -hmm. is that um, glitter vinyl from Mormino. Mm -hmm. I got it when we were at So Magical, and it's so pretty. I wish the camera could catch how glittery it is. It's so shiny. Oh, my God. The light, Because my light is right here. Your whole thing looks black and white, except your sewing machine area so it looks cool kind of gives like this freaky weenie <laughs> thing. i wish i can like film it for you to see it you'll be like that is really cool yep so i did that for the exterior i did the little accent panel and the glitter did glitter straps oh i didn't grab my hardware uh, I did my slip pockets gonna be this uh, i went to joanne's yesterday because i couldn't find a lining that i liked Mm. So it's this like blacky gray glitter. So that's going to be a slip pocket and the zipper pocket lining. I nice. did a custom overlay. It oh. is a little bit small. I love um, that. Because I got it for something else. But it's going to work for this. Because I think that it looks so super cute. cute. So I did that. 
little cotton from Joann's there. And then I'm going to use one of Lauren's zipper pulls that has a little ghost on it. Ooh. Oh, I so didn't I know it's going to look super so cute. cute. The little boo, the ghost. What zipper tape are you using? Um, Black and silver. Ooh. It's like all good matchy matchy. Um, very matchy matchy. Black and silver. Yeah. I am doing psychedelic pumpkin and flowers. I feel like these two things really go together now. It's hand in hand. Like I'm I know we're only a week away from Halloween, but I can put the boo overlays on the website. But they probably I'm won't sure. ship till next week. But so, I think you could use them all year. I agree. Halloween is not just the month of October. And I just have a plain white. Um, for my exterior because I'm actually going to go against the grain and I'm going to make my vinyl also the slip pocket inside. Oh. So, okay. And then I'm going, I have uh, this seafoam green that I'm using as my accent pieces and that are my handles because I didn't have um, the dangly bits. The <laughs> <laughs> Dangly bits. It's a technical term. It's a technical term. I created, I made these little things to hold the rectangle ring to put on there. I'm just sew them on from there. And I think, I think I'm making, I'm putting a bow on there. I'm really into bows. This person said that with this bag that they wanted a bow. So I I'm made all that. about those. Yeah. So I made this little bow to put on the front. We need to wind a bobbin real quick. That bow is adorable. Is that um, from? Um, do you cut that with your cutting machine? Do you have a cutting machine? No, um, I I didn't want my. Okay, don't judge me, but I'm going to be completely honest. If I don't have enough table clearance on my cutting table, I won't bring it out. I, I it's yeah. like I have to clean off the the table, and I didn't have enough because I had two projects on there. So I just like printed out a bow on like on. <laughs> like you just type in bow like template and there's tons of free ones and I just printed it traced it and cut it like cut it out with a pair of sharp scissors and then edge paint it any area that looks a hot mess and trust and believe there's a lot of edge painting <laughs> because I have a silhouette and it's underneath so I have I bought a folding table for it because it's like oh if it folds down like the sides fold down nice to, oh if I don't can't store anything on it then it'll always be clean and I can just unfold it and use it and it stores at the bottom. No, I don't ever use it. I, man, if people are like, did you do this? I'm like, yeah, no, I didn't. You'll be surprised what I can cut freehand. Because <laughs> the pure laziness of not wanting to take out your machine. I mean, that's how we got started with templates because it's way quicker and faster and precise. Yes. Yeah. And then you don't have to deal with like, I don't know. Everything. I'm, everything. Yeah. I'm like not, I, I will not clean up one mess to create another. <laughs> and it, it sounds really lazy when I say it out loud. I'm, I'm, don't get me wrong. I'm really, I feel grateful and fortunate that I have it. But like, I won't, if I have two projects on there, there's no way in Hades I'm going to um, remove the project to do a small bow. So how, do you, how are you going to attach the bow on? I'm going to sew it on. Okay. I I sew my bows on. I do like a tack down in the middle, like a T, like a small T bar. And then I open up its little wing and then I tack it down. It sounds so weird. How many bobbins do you think you need to go through to make this bag? I don't think you can hear me over your bobbin. <laughs> All right, sorry, I had to wind about technical difficulties earlier. How many bobbins do you have to go through to make this bag? I think only one, but I didn't have a full one and I didn't want to run out. I like that's a question I never asked and I always want to ask and like at the beginning. 
I know that sounds so silly, but if you, if, if in like the instructions, someone was like, I use 70 weight thread and I only need to use two bobbins or one. Well, it, that's a good, good idea because I wanted to put like one bobbin bag like at the bottom, but then everyone's bobbins are so different. But I guess if you put the weight, yeah. then that would probably help. Yeah, because like if you if you told me that you use two seventy weight right for this one, and and if I was working on my smaller juki, which I use forty weight, then I'm like, dude, I can get away with one bobbin. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I was gonna put that at the bottom, one bobbin bag, but I like that. That's a cute. I like that. That needs to be a whole genre. I mean, that could be a whole. Yeah, we could do whole tutorials on one bobbin bags. Yeah. Because or because we were in um in a in my Patreon when we were doing a bag, I decided what a genius idea to try one thirty five. I was changing out the bottom bobbins like every fifteen. Minutes. <laughs> it was, and everyone was like, "That's a, a lot of bobbins that you're going through." You know? I was That's like, pretty yeah. crazy. I never think about that. Like going through the bobbins quicker with the bigger thread because I only yep. use. 70 but oh no, you dude, use I, a different bobbin case for your heavier threads no it's still the inbob inbobbin it's the same thing it just takes up more thread it's just like, it's kind of like the four like if you have like a, a straight stitch juki you're you have an l size bobbin but you can use 40 weight you can use 50 weight you can use 60 and 70 weight thread it just but do goes you through keep faster. a separate one so you don't have to adjust the tension or you don't have any problems I have no issues with my tension. Like, I, it's very rare when I have to do anything. Like, I feel like at this point, me and this 1541 it, S is, are like, we're insane. <laughs> we are one with each other. That's good. So on your, um, on your lining, you want us with the right sides up to draw two inches down from the top. Yes, because that's going to be your pocket placement either for your zipper overlay or your slip pocket. So do you prefer chalk, uh, visible ink? What do you prefer? I like chalk. I like the chalk roller pencil things. Um, these little doodads yeah. are my favorite. I try to tell everybody. The white's my favorite and I can't find white right now. I only have gray, so we're going to have to tough it out because yellow will never come out. No, I only <laughs> use the white. The gray is not too bad because it kind of looks like a um, a number two pencil. But yeah, one well, time I have seen gray. Really? Okay, so next time I see one, because I get it from my local um, thing, I'll pick you up one. <laughs> so you can yeah, play around I, with it. I sewed a white bag yesterday and I would have mm -hmm. died to have a gray, but I knew better than to use yellow or... Yeah, because yellow is a beast. See how look it, it looks? It looks like a pencil mark. Yeah, no, I like that a lot. So I got one that had that, and then on the wrong side, we'll draw number two. Oh, yeah, yellow. I've I've messed up a quilt where like we all have good, really good sides of us, and we all have something that like is a monster. I threw a fit like a two-year-old like ripping up the quilt like and I'm not proud of myself looking back it's hilarious but back at the moment I believe if anybody worked, walked in they were going to get the raft of Shinova I had no idea that yellow stains the yellows and I, yeah I, it's I, pretty awful <laughs> I, you know how like you can get the stencils so I like filled it all in with the yellow chalk and then I stipled it and then when I went to wipe it away it didn't come out. So I, then I used peroxide. I did the Dawn soap. I did nothing would would get rid of it. And I was like, I basically ruined this quilt. <laughs> I was uh, devastated. Let's I've see. never sewn with this vinyl before, but it seems pretty nice. I love the shininess without actual glitter. Yes. But it Not does look like it may stick with some machines. Okay. It's pretty thick. Okay, so I need to draw the other measurement. I like the fact that you have the prep work. Like, it's bam. This is the lining prepping. This is this. I appreciate that wholeheartedly. I like to get it out of the way first. <laughs> yeah. It's what funny. connectors are you using? 
I made my connectors because I okay. couldn't find I couldn't find any of those theme of bombers. I know I have some too. And this really pretty rose gold color, but I don't know where I put them. So I made these. I was gonna oh, do yeah. I was gonna do the individual, like a visible ones, but then I was mm -hmm. like, no, those are really pretty. Why not show them off a little bit? I bought some one inch ones from New Moxie that I want to try too, but they weren't going to fit with this design. Because mm. I mocked it all up on the computer. Well, I had Joey mock it all up on the computer for me. Like, I want, if it cuts off the jack o' ladder, we're about to have a fit. <laughs> like, Shinobi <Chernobyl> did. <laughs> <laughs> if it starts with, so I had this idea. You know, I had like, this idea. runs away. <laughs> Oh, but uh, yeah, Kendall does the same thing. I'll be like, look, I have this really cool note. <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? No. No, so I was thinking. I'm like, it's really cool. And he's like, I bet it is. <laughs> Hello, Beth. Hey, We're just Beth. working on prep work. Shinova's marking all her lines and I'm working on my straps because they were in front of me. I'm really bad at doing straps. Um, Monica is the one that always is informing me to do my straps first. I'll be like, it's the end. And she's like, why are we, why are we doing straps at the end? <laughs> it's like, it's the, it's the moment. It makes me feel like I, I made it. All right. So I'm going to stitch this one just because it's a little poofy first. So does it come undone? Your strap? Yeah. You I use the way back tape. Huh? You do the, the sparkly glitter in the straps too? Yeah. So we'll see. Give it a whirl. In the other video description, I had um, the coupon code Nobaween for $2 off the fundamental tote. I don't think I put it in this one. It's the third time moving it over. My teacher, um, my youngest son, she was like, hey, uh, I have a question for you. I was like, yes. <laughs> It was a math teacher. She's like, well, what is Nova Ween? Is it just your name <laughs> when you guys celebrate, you know, um, uh, Halloween like that? I was like, yeah, something like that. <laughs> I have right now where I'm not telling teachers. I have right now where I'm not telling teachers that I could sew. And hear me out. Every project they want me to do something. Like every project. And you're like, um. Yeah. <laughs> There's only so much I can spread. <laughs> They're like, do you have um, the costumes for the class for this? I'm like, no, there's like 30 kids in that class. I'm, there's one of me. I don't know. I don't I don't perform magic. <laughs> but I do want to work for the theater. The I don't mind doing that because I, I used to do theater when I was a kid. But yeah, my son like volunteers me for everything. Like my mom can make t-shirts for our field trip. What? <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, he's proud of you. <laughs> I'm like, oh really? Okay. <laughs> I love you, Kendall. So you're gonna help me. I don't want to do it. This <laughs> strap is pretty. <laughs> Let me see. <gasps> oh, that's really pretty. I love that. 
and it's pretty hefty, but it doesn't feel like it'll tear or anything. That's good. I'm sure Lauren's tested it beyond. Is it part of her Lux line? I have no idea because I got it when we were at So Magical. I was standing in the checkout line to get my big ruler, and it was just looking at me. And I was like, all right, I'll take you home. I went for the pattern because I like I like all cloaks and dagger stuff. When someone says, look, it's only at this place. Like, I don't know. That gets me every time. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, you know, I got her pattern, too. I was like, yeah. And it's on this cool and knowing one. Knowing damn well, I was not going to make it before mm. it came out. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Same. No, I can beat. I can, all right. So I literally had a conniption because I put it in my um coin, like my part of my wallet. I, I carry the Triscoll, so I put it in the in the middle, right? So I went to uh uh CVS to pick up my prescriptions for Kindle um from after a surgery and i somehow misplaced it i'm looking all over cvs and i'm like trying to explain to him it's like a little drive and it has florals on it and they're like do you have a picture of it i'm like why would no i don't have a picture. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> yeah i take pictures of my usb drives all the time it's perfectly normal it's like, <laughs> like um yeah no so i don't have one and i'm like devastated they're like um you have to come back tomorrow morning for Kendall's medication we're waiting for it and I'm like cool so lo and behold the next morning I go to the CVS I'm at the counter and I go pick up a piece of gum and the USB is on top <laughs> of the gum so and I was like I was like this is this is this is a I'm just gonna put you in a frame because apparently you have magical capabilities that I know about, so. I was like, this is cool. I'm never going to touch you again. I'm just going to put you somewhere. <laughs> Trump chopped off a bunch of fat quarters, suggested that I make our kids' friends some hair scrunchies with one day notice. Yeah, no, no. I think I have the face that um, people would not ask that of. I thought I had that face because generally people don't come up to me because I think I'm judging them and maybe I am. I don't know. I could be thinking about air balloons. I think I'm weird stuff when I'm up this right? So, but my kids like to talk about me. And so I have a lot of like other parents who are like, hey, can you hem my pants? And I'm like, no. She said you could sew. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she won't hit my yes, pants. But no. no. <laughs> I did have somebody ask me to repair their Adidas, and I was like, "Do I learn cobbler English?" Oh, did my kid come to you say that I make Nikes? Do you see me on TikTok making cool Nike videos? <laughs> and sometimes you're like, "Hmm, no, I don't want to," but now, thanks for the idea, because I do kind of want to try that. I do. I'm not gonna. <laughs> Lynn's, Lynn's made I don't want to. I don't want to do it for you. I want to do it on my own terms. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks. And I might come in with the school with some really cool ones. No, Lynn's maid and her sister for their 40th birthday went to a leather shoe place. And they I learned how to make that. shoes. I want to do that so bad. I'd be so magical to bring somebody that can do a shoe workshop. And I know it won't be a three hour thing, but I highly suggest them to do this. Because I know Sam has to have those. Um, industrial machines that are like it it's different than our free arm it has like this the shoe the, the free bed yeah Those it's like this yeah. it's really really small and i'm like that would be so cool to take that class show me how to make some tigers <laughs> but maybe at like one of the weekend retreat things where you have yeah. time we need to get someone that does that also it would be cool to take a gene making class how to make jeans for your body type yeah, I need that in my life. I do too. And I think a bra one would be good too. I know the fairy bra mo mother that's in uh, Canada, she has like three and five day workshops. And everyone that I know that been there said it's like the best thing that they ever did. Now they make their own bras. And I'm like, I hate you. Because seriously, <laughs> I want to learn how to do that. I'd like to make a bathing suit. Yeah. Um, Gertie from Charm Patterns has a really, really 
great size inclusive bathing suit and she goes into great details on the materials i'm still absolutely afraid of making them Yeah, this body just is not meant for the store sizes, and it's rough. Oh my god. You are testing them? There's a Converse making thing? I want to go to that. <laughs> I want to be like, really cool. Dude, I watch I would... people on um, Instagram and TikTok a lot making shoes and redoing them. I will make, like, the coolest shoes ever. <laughs> I'll be like, this is how I, I roll. Yeah. All right. I'm going to make some marks on this thing so I can make the perfect placement for my tabs, I guess. You should be able to use the same placements. But, but, I, but I have to do it in the front. Like, did you do it in the front or you cloaked all your holes in the back from the behind? Yeah, I do all mine on the back. So, but you I, could do the same placement on the front. Okay. It would just be where, like, the bottom of your ring would sit, is where the top of the bracket would be. Okay. If that makes sense. No, that does. That does. Thank you for letting me know that. And that also tells people that do different straps is that yeah. where you do the hidden hidden connectors yeah that's where well? i do the hidden d-ring i did it low enough so that if you did a variety of things you shouldn't have to like change too much i like that i'm mapping out my stuff let's see yeah. grab my ruler Oh, okay, I got it. <laughs> I'm like so nervous to put these connectors on the front. Just in case, just in case. It's going to be fine. So the hardware should be at the top of that line, right? That's what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Like you don't want to go any higher than that line. So if okay. it's like super thick or chunky, then you could go down a hair, but... I wouldn't go any higher. Okay. I love the fact that I'm getting to do this with the actual designer on because it helps. Like, because you sometimes you have questions and you're like, wait. <laughs> if I ask the group, do I sound stupid? <laughs> so I, it I'm still not. feels weird that I'm like considered a designer now. You like, are a designer. You're a fabulous designer. Weird. You have a lot of faucets, though, too, because, I mean, you also do these plates. So you're doing um, designs for um, so many different things. Like, you have, you're have, you more than a designer. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. <laughs> you're doing it. You're doing it. I'm going to sew these on at one-eighth of an inch, and I'm backstitching. I know everyone likes to put their threads to the back, but... I'm rough on bags. How I don't wear you. I know. She is doing what? I saw a TikTok or Facebook, Instagram, something earlier about how when you use your scissors, then you put them down, and like two seconds later, they're lost forever. Yeah, I have one. It's called the Narnia hole. I have one in my in my in my house. The uh, Lauren's candy leather pins get lost all the time in my in this room and i'm just like it's i don't know and i believe the left my sock my sock <laughs> my socks go there too i believe it's just my basement area um there's just weird stuff that goes missing like are like the kids middens like they'll find one and not the other and they're like i'm not wearing just smitch mac i'm like nobody can know and they're like yes Mom, people will. <laughs> I'm like, just hide it, you know, with your jacket. I don't understand where they go. I just like. Okay. 
It is super cold this morning. I think the first frost is going to be happening soon here. Oh, it is not cold here. I'm here to tell you. Where are you? Florida. Oh, yeah. Well, you guys get a weird cold cold front, and then you guys are, like, never ready for it. Yeah. For real. But you get, I, I gotta say, I'm jealous of your guys' winter. Like, <laughs> Sometimes, like, I'd like, I let Skittles out. Like, I got dressed, took a shower, let Skittles out, and I came back in and I was sweating. I'm like, I would really like to not be sweating for this video. Thanks. I, I, like, call, it, being cool. I call it glistening. And <laughs> it's fine. If you're running a little too hot for this weather, uh, yeah. something in between I'm, would be cool. And I, I, when I, so when we went to um, Universal Studios and we were in like the Hogwarts part with I was with Julie and um, Sandra, my SPF started like melting into my eyes and my mouth. It was so <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> I, was, I was not prepared, um, and <laughs> it it wasn't my finest moment. It wasn't my finest moment. Speaking of Sandra, she's also sewing a fundamental tote today. So if you guys don't get enough with this one, you can join her today at 2 o'clock. Yes. And she's she always so fun and whimsical when she, like, you learn a lot from Sandra. But yes, my, that was interesting. I was like, I didn't know this can happen. This is super gross. I was going to put interfacing on this piece but we're here now so you're just like let's just roll with it yeah, yeah so i don't normally interface this bag at all that's kind of why when i designed it i wanted it to be easy and not people who don't have a lot of things just starting out bag making they don't want them to have to go to the store and buy a whole bunch no stuff. i really appreciate that i what i read your theme your pattern is exactly it's perfect because I was telling someone that one of the reasons why I don't, um, one of the reasons why I, I don't know if I should put the bow higher or lower. <laughs> I can't see it all the way. Put okay. it in the frame and then we'll let the jury decide. Let's see. Um, I was going to have it in between these two and then I oh, thought... No. Higher, maybe or? a little lower because higher, you know, the top's gonna fold down, so maybe lower, like where you would put a nameplate, kind oh, of okay. a little bit lower, maybe like, even a tad lower than that. I would all think. right, like right in there, yeah. That's cute. I can't. This is weird camera things. Yeah. <laughs> Annette said lower where you would put a tag, and okay. the tags four and a half inches up from the bottom would be the bottom of a tag. All right, so um, try four and a half to like the bottom of the bow part. Oh, that would be cute. Okay, I'm doing that. Thank you guys. I'm gonna grab some double side tape because things like to move on me. <laughs> oh man, it's it's gonna be close. These connectors. You got this. To the you got this. Maybe cute. Joey, are you on here? Do I scoot them over? <laughs> Let's see. Make a little box. Good morning, Lynette. Good morning again. No, I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be, yeah, we'll be perfect. It's like science. What kind of dog the skittles? A standard poodle. Do you like dye her? Do you dye Skittles coat different colors of the rainbow? I'm just out of curiosity. I don't. I got her to be able to do that, but she has autoimmune disease. Oh no! So we weren't able to pursue that aspect of our career together. Hope wants to put white spots on Loki to make him a reverse. Um, what does she say? Like she's she like she loves that guy that goes around and dies all the dogs. Like she wants to do that to Loki so bad. He she wants a reverse zebra effect on him. Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, here for it. Like she's like it'll be super cute. 
I'm like, okay, wow. Annette, um, we, there was a grooming competition in Orlando last weekend, and Annette and her daughter, since they're in Orlando, they came over, and they got to see the creative competition where they dye all the dogs crazy, um, crazy things. I don't even want to say different animals, because it's like whole scenes. It's like artwork. It is. I don't know. First of all, I think Loki would stay still for it, because he just likes people touching him and petting him. He's just like that dog. Like, my vet, my, my vet, like, full-fledged mouth's tongue kisses him, I swear. <laughs> like, I was like, it's just a normal... It, it's Loki. Everyone that is around... My, he, my, my post... The post office guy gives him snuggles. Like, everyone... My neighbor, Amisu, next door, whenever she's harvesting the pumpkins or squash, she, like, cuts them up and gives it to him. Like, this dog is, like, super spoiled by anyone that meets him. Like, people just love him. Even if he's doing like his big boy, boy I'm intimidated. Bark, they're like, "Oh my god, he's so cute!" I'm like, this, he weighs like 160 pounds, and he's over five ten when he's on my shoulder. So, okay, sure, he's cute, cuddly. Now, the one everyone should be afraid of, though, is Roxy. She is not a nice person, <laughs> but this is cute. All right. Oh, I love it. It's like a I little bowie thing. That's interface thing for my connectors. Just do that. I told Nancy she needs to have her self adhesive stuff in a one inch roll for connectors and stuff. Yeah. I guess that would be amazing. Uh, yeah, a one inch roll would, would be really nice. Just for pure convenience. Just oh, like, yeah. I told her I have literally butchered my roll because I forget that I need it. And then I go in my closet like I just did. And I haggardly take my scissors and cut a chunk off the roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, yeah. Then you're mad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why don't I just cut one inch strips myself? I don't know. I don't. It's there's uh, so there. Um, there's this uh, stuff that you use when you're um, when you're garment making that fuses two pieces of fabrics together for you, and it's like it's called like Wonder Under. Um, they finally start making one, I think one and a half inch strips because it it's this it's five eighths plus five eighths. They yeah. finally started making it because of so many people wanted it in demand for garment making, and I was like, that's about time. It's about time. I did not, Jadira. I was going to, but here we are without it. So, because I just kind of wanted some stabilizer just in case. I wasn't sure if the embroidery would like fold over on itself, but this vinyl is pretty thick. So, and I don't think you stabilized anything. Um, I put um bouncy palm on the back. I don't oh. know. I Because I knew I was going to sew. I know I, I like when I'm sewing something, I like to have that little bit of extra stabilizer in the back so that I, nothing pulls through. Your stitches just, I don't know. I like yeah. the way it looks. Oh, Dalva, it's, we had issues too. Um, this was the third time. So don't you worry your little heart. We're still here. Yeah. We're not too far along. Mm -hmm. We're going strong. Oh, good, Jamie. I'm glad you like it. Oh, defective screws. Those are the worst. I haven't oh used God. Chicago screws too much. I hate a defective screw. I even hate them when they're in like the magnet theme. Like I will that's the one time I usually I'm like, Kendall, I need you to come in here because I just stripped the school <laughs> again. Speaking of magnets, don't let me forget, guys. I want to add a uh, magnet on the inside of this. And I didn't grab it, so I don't have it in front of me. Wait, there's a magnet we're supposed to add? No, 
<laughs> but I want to add one because everyone keeps asking me. So I know Amber from Crafty Reporter did it. Oh, do you did you sell kits, uh, the fundamental kits at um, So Magical? I did. Do you have them on your website too, in case somebody I, wants? Um, I don't anymore because all the hardware is from Sia Swag. Mm. Um, so I can link all of her stuff. I don't really have any desire to add that to my own totally collection understand. of stuff that we do. Uh. <laughs> oh, the straps were from Screeching Strappings. Yeah, that happens to me all the time. Oh, um, yeah, this happens. And you this just want a screwdriver. I'll maybe link it. Maybe, maybe I got it at Walmart. It came in a kit with a whole bunch. And it has like this little end that screws. So when you hold it, your like palm can go in here and you can just turn the screwdriver in your palm. Ooh. And I haven't had, so just like it can twist. And I haven't had any strip screws since I started using this little guy. Interesting. I I just recently started to play around with the, the electric one. And I realized it, it can reverse out. And now it's my favorite tool. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it could do that. Yeah. It didn't have a light. Look, it has a light. What? <laughs> That's awesome. All right. So I got all my pieces. All right. On. Moment of truth. Here we go. Perfect. Would you just look at it? You're like, yes, it's the best. And if Joey's watching, he's like, I told you it's science and math. So <laughs> like, let's just say it was me being amazing. I don't know if he's watching or not. He said he might. Kindle's at work, so I think he might. He'll like he'll place me in his ear, like on his earbud, and he's had very interesting conversations with while listening to me. <laughs> like, especially if I say something like that is like typical Nova that Nova style that makes like something just off. That's so cute. What are you working on your lining? Yeah. I'm, I'm on that, putting that the zipper pocket on, if that's correct. I thought I put a crease in my, I might have to mark it. I actually really like having the line drawn out for me in chalk. <laughs> you don't think that it would make that big of a difference but when it's there and you're just already going like I get not wanting to stop like when you get to that point but when you're just like going in the beginning and you already have your ruler out and you can just mark it and then it's there it's like that's nice. oh. all right so we got my exterior handles look at it you just look at it so hey, cute you can probably add a recess zipper on this too if you wanted to yeah, people have asked, and we um, consider doing an add-on maybe in the future for it, but there's going to be so many fun things that we're working on, so we had to, like, oh pump my the brakes God. <laughs> Yes, so you have some very fun stuff coming on, going on. I'm not privy to all of it, but the one that I am is pretty exciting. It is dropping on Wednesday. I think I said 6 p.m. so I can get home from work. Because I knew if I 
did it before work then or at work then that wouldn't be good something would for sure go wrong so I, i'm gonna do a video for it so it'll be premiering on thursday morning perfect it's <laughs> cute it is super it's cute guys I have to, I'm making a, a trick or treat bag for tomorrow's video. I wanted to do one that was like just a rip stop. Cause I always see like cute trick or treat bags and they're like reversible or whatever. But when my kids go trick or treating, they like the rip stop bags because they kind of slouch. And yeah. okay, I, I'm, my kids are, uh, they are definitely my children. And another reason why they like it is because with the fabric bags, you can kind of see when they're getting heavy, right? So with the rip stop, it slouches, so it may look like you're all your candy just at the bottom, and you don't have a lot. That's why they told me that they like it. They because people are like, "Oh, you didn't get a lot of candy. Here's more." <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Lynette, go take a peek at today's post. I think I put it on the Facebook group, on Instagram. It's just a little sneak peek. Maybe later you'll get more. Maybe in this video I'll show you. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe if enough people want to see. I know. You should do like, if you want to see it, hit us with some pumpkin emojis. Oh, good one. All right. Pumpkin emojis. If we get to a lot of the pumpkin emojis by the end of this, I'll show you. Because I have it right here behind me. All the coolness. I like pumpkin emojis. <laughs> and why do I get excited when I see them in the summer? Because I'm like, oh my God, that means pumpkin spice is coming, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> my uh, middle child, she just got her first pumpkin spice like frappuccino. And that's all she asked for all the time now. She's like, did you get me one? I'm like, no. <laughs> do, you have, do you have a job? <laughs> You know, I'll have to get that Bones coffee because it's flavored with no sugar. And especially if you like it black, then you don't have to use all kinds of creamer and stuff. Yeah, it's very true. <laughs> but she has, she, she's, she's funny. She, like, she's that person that goes, tries to find hack videos. So that way um, she can find a hack for it so she can make it herself. She's that kid. And that's ready. Annette wants to see it. She's the only one hitting us with pumpkin emojis. I mean, the pumpkin emoji is important. <laughs> All right, so I have my overlay on, and then I'm just going to stitch around the exterior of the overlay. And I don't back stitch, so I'm going to yep. pull my threads through. Oh, wow. See how we're, you know, I mean, you got to pull them through. It's it's all personal preferences. I say this in every video because everyone has a different uh, take on it. Sometimes, if I'm, depending on the bag, I will definitely pull through the, the stitches, the bobbins out. But if it's going to be like for a backpack or something, I'm like, no, I'm not pulling nothing back. You know, you and I both know well, this backpack would be worn. <laughs> Jadira and Mary want to see something oh, yeah. beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm curious who, like, who's sewing along with us. Ooh, I don't know. Is anybody sewing along? I really do like that um, lining. It's really nice. And I'm using the um, casting. Um, Sofuse Plus. Monica mm. gave me some to try at So Magical because they've been looking for other options. I use that firm, the Wizardry and Stitchery firm on the lining, mm. and I really like it. And so she gave me this to try to see if it has the same structure, and I think it's pretty close. Yeah, I love, um, I like using Sofuse um, Plus on my lining, and <laughs> I just, it gives it a nice crisp look. Right. That's how this was. And that's why I liked it because it, um, it's not saggy. No one likes yeah. saggy things. 
No, the same. I think that it's important to have it. A little bit more. Oh, you can't know. find a pumpkin emoji. Well, maybe a ghost drop something Halloween. Witch, cat. Yeah. Orange. Orange, yeah. Or I can settle for apples. Too. <laughs> <laughs> um, someone asked if it wrinkles. To be honest, I have no idea. I've never used it before. I'll no. let you know. I I didn't find it to wrinkle. Like it does a, a really good job of it. I but I am that weird person that lets my inner facing cool down. I know that's not what like everyone particularly likes to do. It just I found out it's just it, it adheres a lot better once you let it cure. Um and because it's you know it, it irons out any wrinkles I do get out, but that's my favorite one I like to use for lining. I if do I the same, but only because I don't like to cut and sew on the same day usually. Yeah. Just because it's, well, it's a lot. I still have a full-time job. So yeah. <laughs> that's not sewing. That's a huge thing. Yeah, so it's it's hard. Most of the time it's after work one night, cutting out and interfacing the next night sewing. Or two. All right, we got some apples. <laughs> Zelda found her pumpkin. <laughs> Annette said it's called a jack-o'-lantern. Oh, okay. So if you look for pumpkin, it doesn't show up. That's funny. I had to, like, look up. I mean, I know how to spell, spell jack-o'-lantern, but I was like, I, the apostrophe, all that stuff in there. I'm like, where does it go? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. No, no, that jack o' lantern is one of those words. I'm just like, ah. Oh. oh, and I decided to use like pink thread with all this green. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> pink like, is amazing. Yeah, I'm like, let's just do some pink thread. It just looks great with green. Margaret found the jack-o'-lantern. All right. I think they want to see it at the end of this video. Oh, I mean, it's it's pretty epic. I would want to see it. I can tell you, glow-in-the-dark vinyl will probably be sold out from now until next Halloween. Oh, my God, yeah. I can't find anything local, so I'm gonna have I'm getting like super creative because I don't have all my glow in the dark vinyl are themes already. Oh so. yeah. And I was like, uh I took a picture of my sewing room last night when I turned off the light and there was so much glow everywhere. It was a beautiful mm -hmm. sight. Aww. Scraps, rolls. Oh, I showed it to Kendall. Come on. I was like, can we do it as a um a skull? And I was like, I think that would be super cool. <laughs> this is why I keep you. This is why you think of all the cool stuff. Oh, I'm surprised that overlay stitched as good as it is. It came unthreaded somehow. Oh no! Like it missed a loop or something. It happened. Weird. Did you change your needle? <laughs> I changed it um, last night. How often do you change your needle? Um, it's hard to say. I try and do it when I think about it because if I'm thinking about it, then it probably needs to be done. Um, if I sew through like a lot of 
thick materials. Like I did a lot of vinyl and a lot of binding. Then I'm kind of like, all right, I should change it. I didn't probably say every two or three days. Yeah. They're so cheap. I don't know why we don't change them more. It's because it's it could be taxing. Like you, you're already if you're already at the machine, you're like, yeah, I want to sew, and you think it's another thing that's making me not sew right now. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Net changes hers every two bags. Not bad. Not bad. I wish you had like a little Halloween sewing tag. That'd be cute. I know. I was looking for one so hard through my stash. I was like, I know I have to have something that says at least boo. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I have nada. Does not so. Fresh needles and rotary blades, like hmm. what a difference a fresh rotary blade does, though. For Seriously. real. I also I highly underestimated the need for a good rotary mat mm -hmm. like a belt healing cutting mat those are amazing yeah like I have one that's not as self healing and it's harder to cut and it dulls the needles out faster I mean the blades yeah oh you use the new uh, swagalicious thread on your fundamental I have that's next up to try is the Swagalicious thread. I'm using literally stitcheries, I think. I think, I don't know. It's like this really pretty pink. I'm, I think it is. I'm not too sure. <laughs> You'd be crazy because I was like, show it, and they'll know exactly who it is. <laughs> like, that is magic to remember all that. Kasaya just came out with one that's gray, black, pink, gray, black, pink, and white. Ooh, that sounds really beautiful. It's swagalicious. Ooh. I want to like sing like the Fergie Lucy song with it. <laughs> Pretty much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lighters are also another thing that just grow legs and walk away. Oh, yeah. The only lighter that has not disappeared is the lighter that I bought from at Saeed. Uh, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, oh, the big one? Yeah. That thing, it is amazing. Every single time I sew with it, I'm like, and I, I mean, I burn things with it. It just feels so good. <laughs> what are you doing? I think I got a, a pack of like 50 of them on Amazon for like $10 or something. Yes. It was funny. It was, it was really funny trying to get that thing through TSA, though. Because they were like, it looks like a gun, ma'am. <laughs> like, but it's not. <laughs> it's not a gun, and I can't take it apart. So, I don't know. <laughs> There's no butane in it. These ghost pulls are amazing. Okasai is going to go live after this and open up some mail. Ooh. I like mail openings. I do too. It gives me FOMO. <laughs> and then I'm like, I want everything. I have not seen Halloween ombre colored zipper tape and webbing. No, I no, I no, I haven't seen anything. I'm typically like not a holiday shopper, like Halloween, like holiday themed makes just because I don't sell fast enough and I don't do markets so it's hard for me to do a lot of that stuff 
the, the, the one thing I love absolutely about Halloween, though, is that if I make something that is Halloween themed, I can have it. It will sell any time of the year. Oh, I know, for sure. They're like any time of the year, especially if it's like cute, like just, I don't know, any time of the year. Christmas stuff, it's a little bit harder for me. Like after, I don't know. Probably after December 15th, if I, I'm at that point, if I have to make one more Christmas stocking, I'm going <laughs> to have it throw fit. If she used it on a video, Brenda, she probably has it in the description. Ooh, webbing tape sounds good. I'm a converted webbing lover. I used to not like webbing very much, but there are certain bags and certain things that I really love it for now. Okay, so I have mixed feelings with webbing. I like putting them at the very ends of bag, like uh, backpacks, but I'm not a huge webbing lover. I, if it's cotton webbing, yes. If it's seatbelt webbing, not so much. Because I, I get people telling me that then when they're like wearing like a, a sling or whatever, that the adjuster keeps sliding because it's a very slippery substance. So I have my moments. I, well, I do that too, but the last, I've carried this um, bag with webbing for six months or so, maybe closer to a year, and I haven't had any issues with it slipping. Okay. So I think it depends, but it's also backpack. Yeah. So I don't know if that plays a role. I think it does because because the way the weight is it's more evenly distributed it's like two things versus one and i don't know i i i'm I, there's but i do love um i absolutely do love uh cotton webbing like so much but i also like making my straps i don't know something's wrong with me i know i like straps i like making straps too okay then we could be something which wrong is with both of us why we have a strap ribbon guide because i like them yeah, oh my gosh yes yeah, so, like i have that guy the guide is like genius like if you're if you have issues with punching holes clearly i do recommend that because oh, i'm do. not a good eyeballer i'm like oh yeah this looks great as soon as someone says they eyeball something all that does is make me jealous of you. If you want to make, you, you want to be like, I want to make Shinova super jealous. Say that you got eyeball something. Because you know what? I can't. I can't. I can't. I try so hard. All right. All right. Interesting. Hello, Shannon. It's always growling. Stop, stop growling. <laughs> I'm not hungry. I'm surprised. Uh, I can't say his name because he will appear like Beetlejuice. Uh, he hasn't. Uh, he hasn't said something. He's very. He's a very vocal. He, he doesn't get what he wants. He claims. Yeah, I don't know where Skittles is. Must be in the other room. I love that name. That is like the best name. It works for her. It just kind of stuck. Her name. Oh no. Um. Her name when we got her was Savannah. Mm, yeah, Roxy's name was Lucy. <laughs> She's not a Savannah. Yeah, I just it felt weird calling a dog Lucy. I don't know. It was like I don't know. I named her. I don't know. I, I did Roxy because I like I like going like Rox. Her name is Roxanne, but I don't know. Just like 
I like to sing with Chicago a lot. And literally, I was on a Chicago kick when we got her. And I was like, the name on everyone's lips is going to be. I was like, let's name it Roxy. <laughs> and my husband was like, off the whims of my wife. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know how Skittles came about. It was just one of those things that we were, she was a year old and didn't know her name. So we didn't mind changing it, but we tried to stay with like the same letter. Yeah. And so we just kept saying names and words. And she's like, yeah, I like this. Yeah, just stuck. Sometimes, it, okay, so I had my, one of my first dogs' name was Lucky, and then we went to a adopt this uh i think she was she was like how what is that dog that looks like a wolf like, that akia akita uh, yeah she was half that and half the white some something with an s she was something she was we got her a rescue dog and i forgot what her real name was oh her real name was something i forgot what it was but i wanted to name her charms because i had a lucky and i tried so hard and she would not respond to it. The only name she responded to was Molly. So I was so I was really disappointed. I wanted a Lucky Charms. <laughs> so bad. I was like, it would be so cool. And my mom's like, you can't force them. <laughs> I'm like, well, we didn't, I didn't get a choice in my name. So I think <laughs> this is how it goes. I like the fact that the fundamental tote is a beginner bag, but you have that cool little drop in. Like you make it where it's like comfortable. So like people can be like, oh, I feel like people just need to try one time and they will like it. And then they're going to wear drop ins for sure. everything. For sure. Even when I had my flatbed, it was still nice to do a drop in like that and not have to crunch the deck of the Oh my god, right? <laughs> like you could you can do so much more fun stuff. Like you could put like a really thick hard bottom base on there mm -hmm. and not worry about oh crushing god. it. I have too much PTSD from Deckerville. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. My what it when sometimes once I unbirth when I re when I birth it and it comes out looking like a wrinkled mess. I'm so mad. I'm like, I wish I would have just. <laughs> yeah, it's and as a new sewer too. Sometimes that's disheartening enough to make you not continue. Yes, very true. So I'm like, okay, we can avoid it for at least one bag, and they can have a good looking, good looking. Um, yeah front of a bag without being wrinkled then yeah then we'll do that one of my dogs was mr darcy but he was so little to breed they called him uh oh okay he's friend with the nano that's cute nino every i mean dogs have our are very like I don't know. They they kind of let us know more than we <laughs> we pretend that they do. <laughs> like when my he who should not be named because he'll pop out of nowhere um, <laughs> and then want to be in my lap. Um, when it gets closer and closer to the kids coming home from school or um, Kendall coming home from work, he gets more and more. Like, like, he's like, I know they're coming home. I know they're coming home, kind of thing. And because I don't believe in um, cropping ears or cutting tails. That's just, I, I understand some people do it and you do it. Totally cool. No judgment. I just feel like I can't do it. Um, his tail is like Indiana Jones's whip. It's somehow. <laughs> oh, I know. I, it finds my face every time. <laughs> I don't know. I had boxers and I could not imagine them having tails. Oh my God. Look, because the, the King Corso and um, a Great Dane, their tail bone is all the way to the tip of the tail. 
And it is a whip. It is a weapon. <laughs> it is. And then I'm like, I want to. I understand why people cut your toes out. <laughs> There's only so many times. I want to be like asking, is my lip bleeding? <laughs> and clear, forget having a coffee table because they'll clear it. Oh my god! He, yeah, there was this really this really cute TikToker that I follow that has Great Danes, and they were talking about what Great Danes uh, arms, legs, and tails are for. And they were talking about its legs, how it has optimal height to every countertop, and their tail, like the, her, his Great Danes knock things off of tables on purpose because they believe whatever lands on the food on the floor is their food. And I was like, these smart little sons of biscuits. <laughs> they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. <laughs> Skittles too. Like she will get onto any counter, anything, and snatch it with a quickness. But she is not sneaky. You will hear it. You will hear it come crashing down. And that's that. She's looking at you like I didn't. Mm -hmm. I didn't do anything wrong. Shouldn't have left it there. That's what she looks what like. What are you talking about? I'm not doing anything wrong. <laughs> and then my kids are just as bad because, like, they my kids love popcorn. I don't know what it is about the little popcorn. Working in a um, in a corporate job where people will pop popcorn and burn it has got me to the point that I the smell of popcorn makes me recoil. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> If you, if you ever work anywhere where there's a public place where someone cooks stuff, like the cardinal rules, don't put seafood in the microwave and don't pop popcorn, right? Those two things I can't do. But my as soon as the dogs smell it, they'll sit by the kids because the kids will make them do trip tricks like give me your paw, left paw, play dead, up, up, all that stuff. And they keep tossing popcorn at them. I'm like... The, the the dogs don't know how to differentiate that popcorn does not mean it's puppy food. Like it's not. Skittles loves popcorn too. What is it about popcorn? Like please please stop feeding the dog popcorn. I would really appreciate it. Once it's not buttery and all that stuff. Nope. It's, they just they eat. They like. Ugh. My son likes to eat it right when he comes home from track. And I'm just like, please don't feed the dog popcorn. I won't. And then I hear Loki just like, oh, shit, I said his name. <laughs> he has like, the best hearing in the world. <laughs> um, You got to Voldemort his name. <laughs> it's like, um, Mary said she's glad she works from home because she likes her popcorn burnt. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I can't see. You like your popcorn, Bert? No, Mary. No. <laughs> Do you like um, well done steak, too? That's Ew. <laughs> no. My, you know who does? My husband. you are like, I like my steak well done. And I know when we go to a steakhouse, I see the waiter judging him like I'm judging him. Who <laughs> <laughs> says people's name one many, too many times? I told you they know. They know. I think we just got a Amazon. Oh, yeah. I love that because, like, you know how Amazon has like different like drivers? I wonder if they have like uh, this house has crazy dogs. <laughs> it's definitely someone new because they rang the doorbell. Normally they don't oh ring the doorbell. What? I had an Amazon driver call me. I'm like, what? What are you doing? <laughs> like, just you knock. Yeah, that is not door. necessary. That is not necessary. <laughs> And it says like Amazon driver, and I'm like, I don't, I, there is no way I'm feeling comfortable in this scenario. <laughs> this is I'm no, she kidding. likes her steak medium rare. All right, okay, all right, I'm you're good. I, I like you. Wrong. All right, um, yeah, you protect um, yourself a little bit, yeah, because like, I don't know. I was worried, I was worried that you were not okay. You were like, blink, blink twice. twice. <laughs> 
<laughs> Blink twice if you need us our help. That's I was gonna say that. <laughs> Not happy. Hey. That is the pup. The pup knows things. I trust dog instincts more than I do humans. <laughs> so like, you know, I am not feeling safe with this person. Get him, Skittles. Get him. Okay. Okay, I think if we live by each other, we would be best friends because my, I like in tap. I'll be like, get him, get him. And Kendall's so like, please stop. keep working until I check the door to tell her no one's there. And I then know. you have to like show her outside. Yeah, I have to do the same thing. But I like at first, I just, I guess I'm just, I kind of like it. I find it funny. But like Kendall will be like, you know, stop pumping him up. You're pumping him up. That's my kind of dog. Steak. I like mine's rare. I do medium rare. Oh, right with the world again. Okay. I like it rare, but yeah, I feel like whenever I go play any place with Kendall, he orders a steak that they secretly judge him because I know I do. And <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> you can't just sit here. Oh, I like this. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> Let's see. Hold on. I'm going to bring down the whole entire thing with me. Thirteen and a half. All right. Let's make this real quick, shall we? Yeah, I know during, around the holidays, like Amazon, they they start doing like weird stuff, like for the drivers, like making them call and all that stuff. I also I didn't even know this, but Amazon delivers Christmas trees. Yeah, <laughs> live ones. Yeah, I feel like it's weird though because I don't trust them with my produce. So. <laughs> I mean, my luck, I'd probably order one and I'd get 12 or something. Like, they'd send me the whole dozen. <laughs> like, maybe I don't need this many trees. We take them back. No, no, there's no... We, we or, it'd be like, or it'd be like ordering off a wish. Where you, <laughs> like, order a six-foot tree and it's, like, six inches. You're, you're, getting, you're getting the real Charlie Brown Christmas yeah. thing. <laughs> like, um, I like that tree in theory. <laughs> <laughs> Realistically, I don't like it. It's not You're my favorite. Hmm? You come protect me now. She's like, I I really my this bag comes together really fast. Yeah, once you mark everything, it's like that's it. That's like perfect for markets or new people or day shows. Mm, yeah, market to add stuff to. Like I'm about to add this different color bottom because I don't like when two um <laughs> meet up and it's not like perfectly matched on the bottom. That is my um that is a a pet peeve of mine for me myself. No one else myself. Because <laughs> I'm like I could have took the time to match it. Why didn't you? And I'm like okay. Well, Sometimes I don't have enough material. <laughs> so. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Did I take my snips out there with me? Oh, no, probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> probably. I was telling Kendall, I was like, yeah, somebody recommended putting like snips on a necklace. And he was like, oh yeah, you'll just choke while you sew it underneath your foot of your machine. <laughs> like, I appreciate the confidence. <laughs> it makes me feel good. Yeah, I couldn't do that. Yeah, I know. I'd rather, just have, I'd rather just have 15 pairs hanging around. I'm, I'm, well, and realistically, he's not lying though. Because like I, I sew through rulers like all the time. <laughs> If you look at any of my plastic rulers, it's been, they've been sewn through. Oh, I love seeing what people stitch to their bags. Oh, yeah. I've sewn my fair share amount of clips, too. Yeah. I'm always amazed when the clips don't break. You're just like, what? Yeah. Oh, magnet. You guys should never have one. <laughs> I like how you have different measurements for the um, lining and for the exterior i appreciate that i think it's cool goes back to that saggy lining scenario yeah totally but it helps tremendously because sometimes people don't want to veer you know do that veering off like oh start at one fourth and veer to like five eighths and you're like what <laughs> no one says that but you know <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have five eighths on my machine now. <laughs> I'm going to do an inch and a half down since I'm using a big magnet. What size? Uh, mm -hmm. Having a clue. The normal big one. You know what's funny? The other day I, I got the, the normal size out and it wasn't a thin one. And I was like, this thing is so big. Like, yeah, if this one's not thin. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it molding out so much? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, I want some donuts now. That sounds good. <laughs> I'm a sucker for a donut. Okay. So you're just listening to me. Um, <laughs> hello. I'm just clipping these two pieces together. I need to have like my own theme music, like. 
don't know. <laughs>